a certain point during the build where I've got everything done on the mainframe. We've got servos in, we've got ESC, we've got motor, we've got main rotor, we've got all of our linkages set, um, main gears in, we've done motor tensioning. So essentially all this needs is the fly barless system. We'll connect and route all of our wires at that point. I don't have mine figured out or determined yet. Probably go with like a spirit system. Um, so I'm gonna leave that out of the build. Um, thanks for watching the time-lapse steps. I like to make those just to kind of show those out there interested in purchasing the kit kind of the amount of time and work that goes into it. Now, you'll notice I have not yet completed the tail portion. Uh, it's very easy, very straightforward. I'm going to leave that part off camera um, because of the fact that it's a belt-driven system. And I went ahead and installed my belt first before uh, uh, instead of doing the tail boom and then the main gear. So since that part's done, it's gonna be really hard to film that like on the bench because of how long the tail boom is. So what I'm gonna do is complete the entire machine. I'll get the boom on and then we'll come back and kind of take a look at it overall and just do a, a final review. Uh, a couple of notes that I found, if you guys are assembling up to this point, is your C-clip underneath on the main gear. Um, in the kit, it comes with a couple of shims, and per the manual, it's supposed to be shimmed appropriately. Of course, you do have machining tolerances, so in the extra bag, they included two other shims, um, a mid-size and a really slim. I had to take my C-clip back off and add an additional shim to eliminate um, up and down play on the main gear. So that's a good side note there. Also, your servos. Um, it's going to use mid-size on the cyclics. Um, I had another set of mid-size ones um, made by RJX, but they would not fit. They were actually too long. They were, they were interrupting into the main shaft. Whereas the, um, the servo kit that I guess you could say comes with the combo on this one, the red and black ones, they fit perfect. They're a little shorter on the bottom end. So keep that in consideration. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and I'll finish up the tail. We'll get everything assembled. Um, we'll take a look at the finished product and we'll go ahead and we'll throw the canopy on and get some mains and tails on there as well. So uh, give me one moment here to get that completed and I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so the machine is basically fully put together. Uh, as I specified earlier, I didn't do a fly barless system so I've kind of got my wires just quilled up. I've got that in the works. That should be here soon. I'm still waiting on my boom supports and my um, tail linkage rod. Just waiting for those to harden from the CA. But overall, amazing build. The quality of XL Power Machines is absolutely fantastic. Um, everything went together buttery smooth. Um, no defective parts, no issues. Some things that I wish were a little bit different that just make the overall build process easy, but um, a lot of machines share the same qualities. Things like 90 in the boom. Um, kind of the servo geometry and layout was a little complicated. Um, I'm not 110% sure yet if my stock canopy is going to rub right here or not. Um, we'll have to find that out once we go and fly for the first time. But Overall guys, I hope you enjoyed the build process. Pretty extensive. Um, took me about three days to complete. Minus programming and installing the fly barless system. So overall, XL Power, this is the 550 original kit, not the Nimbus. Uh, gets my seal of approval. Thank you guys for watching the video, and remember, Freddy can fly, so can you.